What's good, everybody? And one, well, hold on one second. Hey Siri. What the fuck do you want, Cadillac? How do you say "Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons" in Spanish? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons is. Bienvenido de nuevo a Cadillac Cartoons. What she said. Anyway, in today's video, I'm gonna be redrawing some old art that I made when I was like what, 13, 14 years old. So it wasn't too long ago but I'll just re be recreating it in today's video. Throughout my childhood and throughout me drawing and learning how to draw, I, I kept drawing Dora and Diego in pictures because I really wanted to go an on an adventure. So I was gonna like portray that in like a in like a picture. So the drawing that you see here, this was like kind of like the last drawing I made with crayons, minus the drawing I did for the back to schools challenge drawing that I made a couple weeks back. And then I tried to recreate this drawing in 2017. I didn't do it on YouTube, but that's what I did. I got better at drawing Diego, but when it came to uh, drawing his hair, it kind of like, it, was, it wasn't my strong suit because back then I wasn't really good at drawing hair. No, God, please, no! So it was a little bit difficult drawing Diego, but the pose I can do just fine. And then I also got better at drawing Dora, so I didn't, I didn't really need any reference at all. When I did that drawing, I didn't really add a background because back then I wasn't good at drawing backgrounds either. No! 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 I just left a background blank. That's where today comes in, where I can uh, include a background in it. You recreate the whole concept of me going on an adventure with Dora and Diego. So let's get to the drawing. Okay, so what you guys see here is the initial sketch. No thumbnails, no nothing. I didn't get any inspiration. I just somehow came up with it. It was in my brain somehow, so I just wanted to sketch it out so I wouldn't forget it. So I can't really talk about how I really came up with it, but I will explain throughout my throughout this uh, drawing process how I really like put it together, you know? I drew me, Dora, and Diego in the hot air balloon, and then I wanted them to kind of like look down on the Earth to see like all the different environments that Earth has because, you know, Earth has a lot of ecosystems and stuff like that, and Throughout my childhood, Dora and Diego traveled all over the world, and I actually want to do that someday. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so there is a desert, there is a there's the Arctic, there's a rainforest. So I wanted to include all of that in one drawing, and I didn't know how to do that. So I kind of guess that's how it came together, though. The sketch, actually. But, so I wanted to draw the entire Earth with all of those just sitting in one illustration. That's how it came together. And also, there was kind of like negative space in between all three, like in the middle, like like the Pacific Ocean, I guess. So I wanted to include that little volcano on Dora's show that, uh, like, when it, when it explodes, there's like bouncy balls. I don't know. It's some type of a weird volcano. I don't know what it's called, but I put it there just to fill that negative space a little bit. And as it is the Earth, the hot air balloon will be up and um, like I said, the characters will be like, not exactly staring down, but the characters will be like the uh, the main focus of the drawing. So I made that in Procreate. I sketched it, I sketched and did the characters in the hot air balloon on Procreate. I did the background traditionally because there are a whole lot of trees, a whole lot of cacti, if that's the plural word for cactus. And there's a whole lot of uh, pyramids and, you know, snowy mountains. I wasn't really comfortable doing that on my iPad because there was like, I mean, it is limited space, but I kind of had to work with it. But I didn't do the, back I did the background traditionally because I was more like flexible with kind of a brush pen. And I didn't know how to do that on an iPad, or at least I'm not comfortable with using it yet. I did all that traditionally, and I also colored it traditionally because, again, I'm not too good at like digital illustrations yet on my iPad. So I wanted to use my normal illustration techniques to do the background, which is something I was kind of looking forward to do before making this video. I did all that, and since this is gonna be the Earth, they're gonna be kind of like flying up in the space, so there's gonna be like a space themed background. When I did like the rest of this negative space in the illustration, I kind of did that in Procreate. So what I did was where I cropped out the entire Earth and kind of added like a space background to it. I didn't really have to use any like black colors, any dark colors for like the background to fill that white space in sketch. That's kind of how I put it together. And I also added some glowing and some stars to do that. 
But yeah, this is how the drawing came out. Let me know if I improved over the years, because I think I did. This is probably one of my uh, favorite drawings that I did this year. If you did like this video and you like me redrawing my art, give this video a like and a comment. And also hit my subscribe button and also tap the notification bell so you never miss a beat. And I will see you in my next video. I